to morning. one of our favorite actresses, writers, producers, uh, what and authors. She do. We're talking about. <laughs> Mindy Kaling. That's right. She's part of the all-star lineup in Ocean's 8, playing a jeweler recruited by Sandra Bullock's character to take part in a heist at the Met Gala. Have a look. How long would it take you to make seven pieces of jewelry if the stones were already cut? Probably five or six hours. How long if I told you you didn't have to live with your mother anymore? Less. Mindy, Mindy, Mindy. Hi, Mindy. Hi. Okay, What's first up? of all, I'm still having a little post-traumatic from when two of your colleagues were here. Oh, my gosh. Kate Blanchett and Sarah her. Paulson are crazy. They're always like that. Okay, we're going to, in case you missed it, let's just show a tiny... It was off clip. the rails in five... It was never on the rails, it the never, interview. And it, it was never on stayed the on rails. We don't even... Look, what she, look what's happening. She's sitting on Sarah's lap. Please explain the dynamic. This looks like a scene from Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> no, it is. That's... But that is exactly... That's what they're like. <laughs> what... Describe what the dynamic is in the group. With, well, with them it's and you. very goofy. I mean, we've been together. We shot this movie a year and a half yeah. ago, and we've been doing press for this forever, so everyone feels very comfortable with each other. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, completely. Um, that's just kind of what they're like. It's crazy. I was actually, I was like, am I going to be doing it today with them? Because that sort of comes up all the time. Yeah. Wait, while well, we're on the topic of the movie, though, yes. just let people know. Because you play, you're like a jeweler. You're the jewelry expert, right? Yes. And, and the whole thing is to go to the Met to steal mm -hmm. you know, this, jewelry. It's a $150 million necklace that yeah. I have to, like, take apart in a bathroom. Yeah. And by the way, I, I got to see the movie, and I don't want to give anything away, but it's it is. Do they awesome. successfully steal the jewels? I cannot reveal, but you're biting your nails throughout, and Mindy is yes. like a ten. Working with this group of women, did, had you met them all before? Did you know them? I had met Annie. Annie and I had gone to dinner like once. Anne Hathaway. Separate, Anne Hathaway. Uh -huh. I call her Annie. Yeah, yeah. Just like her close friends <laughs> call her type. Annie. And uh -huh. Sandy. Yeah. Um, Sandra Bullock. Sandy yes. and Annie. Yes. Um, Riri. Katie. <laughs> Rihanna. How was Rihanna? By the way, we, we, she wasn't with us on the press junket, so we didn't get to sit with her. How was she? How did she fit in the She's group? She's just um, shy and yeah. incredibly stylish and sweet. Like, I go to my trailer, and remember the, the sneakers or creepers that she made from yeah. Puma yeah. that completely sold out? Uh -huh. yeah, you'd go to your trailer, and there'd be another gift from Rihanna's line. Oh, that's awesome. Oh no, it was like Christmas every morning, and then well, you'd go thank her, and she's just, like, very shy and sweet. Awesome. And you'd want to like throw your arms around mm -hmm. her, and she'd have her security guards who would say, "Please don't touch the right. Fenty." And then I'd have to retreat. It's like a no-win situation. You probably didn't even know that the, the things were in there. Then you go to thank her, and you get punched. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now you went to the real Met Gala. You wore a crown, as I recall, right? <laughs> yes, I did. What was that all about? Uh, how was it? I mean, how was the Met Gala? The real Met Gala, which uh, the movie's based on. Oh, it was insanely oh, glamorous. I yes. sat next to Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman himself. Amazing. Yeah, wow. It was it was incredible, and I wore a crown. Well, yeah, what? Uh, just an everyday totally thing. Normal. That's, That's totally what you do. Completely normal. You have a lot of cool things coming up. One of them is kind of might be a little daunting. You're giving your commencement address at your alma mater at Dartmouth. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. Prepping for this thing. Do you? Are you funny throughout? What do you what do? You do? do? I'm so nervous. You are? Have you written it yet? I gave birth six months ago, and I'm more nervous for this. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Well, because I went that. there. I went there, and um, it's, you know, these kids are so young, and mm -hmm. they're about to go into the world. The world is so crazy right now, and it's so polarized, mm -hmm. and I think that they're going to have to do a lot of rebuilding, and we're really depending on young people to do that. Are you going to go mm -hmm. serious, or, you know, mm -hmm. because of the political climate, and, and give us more of encouragement, or are you going to go more straight funny? I was just going to do straight funny, but yeah. then I thought, no, like, I mean, people are traveling. A lot of, when you graduate college, like, your family's coming from all over the country to come see it, so I thought I had to give some wisdom. And by the way, the news cycle's so crazy. You could write a speech and, like, wake up that morning, and the world could be in a place you're like, oh my gosh, I can't say that, I can't do that. Completely, yeah. yeah. So I, I find it, I think I'm going to do a little bit serious stuff but keep it funny you um you tweeted something after the whole roseanne bar debacle mm -hmm. you tweeted something that we loved huh let me just say it was basically you exactly. wanted you were w willing to write for for wrote, john goodman. yeah you're laurie metcalf and john goodman let me write things for you right. so without roseanne you were saying basically let, let me take care of this well i mean i i because I, I wanted to clarify it a little bit because the creators and the writing staff in that show are incredible and there's a reason why so many people watched it it really touched on a lot of things that people mm -hmm. are really interested in watching. So I think that they they have a great crew there. But John Goodman and Larry Metcalf are national treasures. Mm -hmm. And when you feel like there's something like that where they like it was so abrupt that you just are like, if you're available, I mean, I'm a writer. I just right. want to write for all the right. best people out there. You think they could, could, you, could, could pull that off? That? Yeah. Could I pull Not I pull you, but show. could the show be successful with, without, with, without yeah. Zan? Yeah, I mean... They're so, I know Sarah's so talented, and I think they're trying to do something right now. Mm -hmm. I would watch that show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And the writing staff is amazing, so I think they could definitely do it. By the way, how was that little one? Your little yeah, how's Big Mom? 
I FaceTimed with her because I'm she's in LA right uh -huh. now because I didn't want to make her travel and I'm here for such a short time. And when I used to FaceTime with her when she was really little, she was just like, I don't know who I'm looking at, I don't yeah, care. Right. Uh, now she recognizes me on the phone. Does it make things worse? It does because yes. I want to jump through the phone. Because the kids are almost at that age, like out of sight, out of yes. mind. But when you're like, oh, my, oh, mommy, and I remember she you. She recognizes <laughs> me, and it's just it. it it's just the most I like melt. Does she say mama yet amazing. or not yet? She doesn't say anything. Uh huh. <laughs> she's she's really little. She's like five and a half months old now, okay. but she finally recognizes me. That's awesome. My three-year-old girl just started heart. to learn how to text. Wait till she has the ability to FaceTime you, because she'll call you all the time. Oh, like my yeah. daughter, we're in the car driving. She's like, I sent you a text. I sent you a text. I said, I know. I just I've got the emojis. Hilarious. What poop. I got it. Poop emojis. Just poop emojis. Just poop emojis. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're going to be Thanks back in the fourth here. hour. Oh, I'll be back. And you're going to talk with Jenna and me about Ocean's 8 and a lot more. It's awesome. All right. That's on everything. Thanks. Come on. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.